Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T study menu, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 167. 167, we are on page number 99. We are going through the quiz which we are referring to, which we are referring as uh, as test number three. If you're interested in practicing the, 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 the two tests before that, that appeared in the fifth edition of the T's that I'm holding in my hand here. There are two exams, two tests in this book that we went through, and you will find the solutions to those, those problems in test one and test two. Test exam one was day 61 through 70. Exam 2 you will find 71 through 80. And solutions to all the problems in 5th edition you will find from day number 1 through 80. We are, we are on problem number 3. Problem number 3, we are being asked to simplify this quantity. It says, simplify the expression and uh, figure out which of the following is the equivalent fraction. So we have 3 quarters times 7 8 in the parentheses and then we're being asked to divide that by 14 over 15 14 over 15 first thing first and again if you're not very good at this thing you will find that we have solved many of these problems like this in day 1 through 80 there are quite a few and there's also a basic math series where you will find just type in basic math day 1 there are 100 100 videos in that series there also you will learn how to add and subtract and divide and multiply fractions you have to know how to multiply, divide, add and subtract fractions. That's something that's expected to know. So we know that if, if you have a division sign, if a quantity is being divided by a fraction, we can, we can convert this division sign into multiplication sign. We can convert this into multiplication sign by taking the reciprocal by taking the reciprocal of the quantity. 14 over 15 becomes 15 over 14. We take the reciprocal of it. We just flip it. And now we are ready to multiply out. Except don't multiply it out because if you sit there and multiply everything, you'll be here forever. Fine, see if you can reduce anything. Well, do you see anything at all? I saw something just now. I saw something very nice. I see a 7 and I see a 14. Or well, 14 is 2 times 7. Let's divide top and bottom by 7. 7 is going to go away and 14 is going to become 2. Now when I say go away, it doesn't just disappear in thin air, it just becomes 1. But you know how to write down the 1, it doesn't matter because any times, anything times 1 is just going to be the thing itself. Do you see anything else you can simplify? Strangely enough, I don't see anything else. That's about it. That's about it. Because 3 and the 15 have nothing in common with 4, 8 and 2. So now we have to multiply. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times 1 is... 3 times 15 is going to be 45. That's our top. And at the bottom, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Very good. That's your answer. 45 over 64. So if you find an answer choice that says that, 45 over 64, that's answer choice C. The answer is C. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 4. In number four, we are asked to arrange from least to greatest. Arrange from least to greatest. You have to pay attention there because sometimes they ask us to arrange them the other way. The greatest to least, in which case the greatest goes first. Here we have to least to greatest. Which, is, which, which makes it simpler, because least to greatest, we just have to think in terms of a number line, whereas the greatest to least, you have to go in the opposite direction. Least to greatest is exactly how the number line goes, if you move from left to right on the number line. And the quantities that are given to us are 7 ninth, 0.7, negative 7, negative 0.65, and negative 2 third. Let's start with something simpler, okay? Start with something simpler. Here are the answer choices A, B, C, D, and E. 
And the way to do that is to start with the two ends. It doesn't matter which end you start with, but start with the two ends first. Either the greatest or the smallest first, and then the other, the other one. Let's start with the greatest first. Let's start with the smallest here. The smallest here is negative 7. Negative 7 is even less than negative 1, and these things, this quantity, if you look at the number line here, there's your 0, here's your negative 1, negative 7 is going to be somewhere here. That's the smallest one. And these two quantities are for, since they are less than 1, or rather less than positive. 0.65 and 2 thirds is what I meant in terms of positive, they're less than 1 and therefore negative 0.65 and negative 2 thirds are more than negative 1. These two quantities are going to fall somewhere here, very close to each other. Very close to each other, but somewhere here. Here is a half, this is a 0.5, uh, 0.6 points. They're going to, one is going to fall here and one is going to fall here. Very close to each other. But the point is, the point here is that the smallest number is negative 7. So, since we are arranging from least to greatest, the correct answer, whatever it is, the correct answer, whatever it is, must begin with negative 7. Look at the answer choices and see what you can eliminate. Well, we can immediately eliminate answer choice A. A is gone. A doesn't belong there. Because answer choice A begins with negative 2 thirds. That's no good. Let's work on the other end. On the other end, it's going to get a little tricky because there are two positive quantities. One is 0.7 and the other one is 7 over 9. We have to convert this 7 over 9 into decimal. Let's do it here, 7 over 9. Where can we do it? Let's do it right here, 7 over 9, which is same as 7 divided by 9. 7 doesn't have any 9, so we have to start with the decimal. 7 becomes 70. Okay, stay with me in that story. How many 9's in the 70? Well, I know 9 5's are 45. 9 5's are 45. If you add one more line, 9 6's are 54. If you add one more 9, 9 7's are 63. Oh, we're getting very close. That's it. If you do, if you do one more, it's going to be 72. It's going to be it's going to be too high. Table of nine is very simple. Nine's table is very simple to memorize because the digits one goes down by one, the other one goes up by one. The tens digit goes down, go, goes up by one each time, and the units digit goes down. 45, 50, 54, 63, 72. 72 is too high. So this is nine fives of 45. So this represents this represents five nines. Five nines of 45. This represents six nines, and this represents seven nines. There you go. Seven nines are 63. And we have another seven remaining again, which is what we started out earlier. So again, you stick a zero, and you're going to be seven and 63, and you can have seven remaining again. You stick a zero, and you do it again, and you keep on going until the cows come home. It never ends. So this thing is 0.7 repeating. Let's make a note here. Seven nine. 7 ninth is 0.7 repeating. Well, if it's 0.7 repeating, if it's 0.7 repeating, then 7 ninth has to be more than 0.7. Think of the think of this in terms of money. If you were to approximate, if you were to approximate, I left no room for anything. If you were to approximate, we will say that 7 ninth is approximately 78 cents. Because it's 70.77 repeating. It's 0.77 repeating. It just goes on forever. And since it's more than five, the third digit, you round it up to 78 cents. Where else 0 0.7, 0 0.7 is exactly 70 cents. As you can see, 7.9 is more than 0.7. 7.9 is more than 0.7, which means if you're going from least to the greatest, the greatest among these quantities, because these three are negative. This is negative, this is negative, this is negative. When we talk about greatest, you only have to concentrate on the positive quantities. There are only two positive quantities, 7, 9 and 0 0.7. 7, 9 we just established is the greatest. So the story has to end somewhere here, 7, 9. Any answer choice that not, does, does not, any answer choice does, does not start with negative 7 and does, 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 and does not finish with 7 over 9 is wrong. Is there anything we can pass out here? You're looking for something that does not have 7, 9 and the C is wrong. Now we crossed out with C, but watch how I'm going to cross it out. I'm not going to cross out with a red pen like that. C is gone, but we're going to do it in a different way. To remind us, to remind us that these two were crossed out with for two different reasons. If we had crossed out two answer choices like that, that would have meant that those two were gone together in one shot for the same reason. These two are two different reasons. So the answer is either B or D. Let's see what we can do now. We need room. So now we have no choice. I'm going to erase all the extra parts so it doesn't get too crowded. I'm going to erase all the extra parts here. And everything is gone. Everything is gone. 0.7 uh, is 0.7. 
is gone. Now the contest is between, contest is between these two. Negative 6.5 and negative, negative 2 third. For negative 2 third, what 2 third we know is 2 third we know is 0 0.6 repeating, which is same as negative point. If you want to approximate, it will be negative 0 0.67 approximately. Again, think of this as negative 2 negative 2 third is approximately negative 67 cents. And this is negative 65 cents. Negative 67 is smaller. This quantity is smaller. This is bigger. This is smaller. This is bigger. So since we are looking from least to greatest, it's, it should be negative 7, then this guy, then this guy. Then what do we have then? Well, I missed, I left out one, but that's it. We're done. We're looking for an answer choice. We're looking for an answer choice where negative 67 comes before negative 65 because this is smaller than that. So the correct answer choice should say negative 2 third and then negative 0.65. And since we are left with only two answer choices, B, B and D, only one of them will have this one first and that's one and the other one will have it reverse. So which one is it? Let me pick up the book here. B says negative two third. There you go. Answer choice is B. Correct answer is B. B says negative two third and then negative point six five. And C says oh C was already gone. We crossed out C long time ago. C was gone long time ago. We were down to B and D. Let's look at what's wrong with D. In D, and there is no answer choice E. And D, they have it the other way around. See, as I told you, they're going to have it the other way around. So the answer here is C. Answer is C. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.